welcome to Approved with Megan and Wendy, the podcast where we share one item every week that we're currently using and loving. We're your hosts. I'm Megan Samarin. And I'm Wendy Nielsen. When this podcast is over, we know it's just 10 short minutes in your day. Join us on Instagram. We are at Megan and Wendy. And we would love to know what you are using and loving. Send your emails to meganandwendy at gmail.com or you can tag us on Instagram. Yeah, you can. If you would like more from us, more episodes every week, you want to hear us talking pop culture, you want to hear us talking parenting teens, you want to hear travel horror stories and the updates (laughs) on Wendy's move and all of our medical maladies. Join us on Patreon, patreon.com slash Megan and Wendy. Y'all, you can get a full week completely free and you can listen to as many episodes as you want during that time. After that, it's just $5 a month. $5. It's a good deal. We'd love to have you join that community. Patreon.com slash Megan and Wendy. You go first this week. Okay. I feel like I always go first. So you I go have first. A, a food-ish really, a drink item. Oh. It is the Cafe Bostello Instant Espresso. Okay. So the origin of this is that I kept seeing videos from a TikToker. Her name is Mama D. She was making iced coffee at home, and she would make it with instant coffee. And everyone was like, does that taste good? Someone in the comments mentioned, like, oh, instant espresso, because I have found that I actually prefer espresso to coffee. Mm. And so I purchased this Cafe Bustello instant espresso, and you just mix it with water. It doesn't even have to be warm. It dissolves in room temp water. Oh. And here's but you don't I- drink it like that, do you? No, you put it over ice, right? Yeah. Okay. You could make a hot coffee with instant All right. espresso. Uh, All this right. is how I make my I- iced coffee. I use a half cup of water, a tablespoon of instant espresso. I add a splash of my homemade brown sugar syrup, the recipe for which you can find on our Instagram, but it couldn't be easier. It is equal parts brown sugar and water, heated until the brown sugar dissolves, tossed in a jar in the fridge. The second it's gone, I make a new one. Mm. It's great. And then I add oat milk and ice. What I typically do is espresso, water, a splash of cinnamon, a splash of the brown sugar syrup, and then I use my little handheld frother Mm -hmm. and just it all up. And then I add oat milk and ice, and it's my favorite iced coffee. Depending on where you buy it, the instant espresso is between 5 and $6, and I use a tablespoon. So I honestly don't know how much is in there, but I get at least 20 iced coffees out of it. Wow. So I'm making my own syrup. Yeah. It's, homestead man it is a bargain i am churning out iced coffees i feel great about it i'm I gonna get it. you a starbucks apron seriously <laughs> that's so wild well that's exciting is that espresso it kind of like blew up in 2020 like people were making that like weird it's, yeah you could what make the that? dalgona coffee with that instant yeah espresso. that's what it was yeah yeah, yeah. you could do that Hmm. interesting it kind of turns it like when i froth that if i were to keep going you could see how it would turn into that so you're liking this better than regular coffee? The iced coffee, very much that way, mm. yeah. That's how I make my iced coffee every day. Wow, interesting. I'll sometimes still make, I'll use like a Nespresso, espresso pod. Yeah. But, but then it's like hot and then you're cooling it down and like whatever. Which doesn't really matter. That's fine. I know. That way is fine it too. It still tastes great yeah. that way. But yeah, those would be my two favorite ways to make it. But you know, an espresso pod's $1 each. I was just going to say, like, this is way less budget friendly yeah yeah Mm -hmm. okay are you ready for my item i am it it was about a year ago that my family and i went to paris can Mm -hmm. you believe that a year ago i'm still using some of those beauty products you brought back for me such a wonderful trip um it was prior to that trip i bought this item this item is popular on TikTok, Instagram. A lot of influencers have shared it. It is the Bag Smart Hanging Toiletry Travel Bag. Oh, I think I might have this. I don't know if you do. Maybe you do. It like trifolds into like a rectangle shape. Mm -hmm. (laughs) It looks like you're carrying like a small handbag. Mm -hmm. And then when you open it up, it can hangs by a hook Mm -hmm. like on your, you know, it's great for travel. Obviously, Mm -hmm. you put it on your like hotel bathroom door or whatever. It comes in three different sizes. And the way the reason why I'm sharing it today is because I have recently moved and I was downsizing a lot of stuff, getting purging a lot of stuff in the move. And I came across that. I'm like, I'm keeping this because this is 
the most amazing travel toilet bag. That is it. Megan mm-hmm. just showed me a picture. I think it's amazing. I can't believe how much stuff you can get into it mm-hmm. and then fold it all up and it is so com- and compact. And then it's space saving when you travel because you can hang it up on the door. Yeah, you, you don't have all you don't your have a ton crap of counter space. on the ta- counter space. Uh-huh. Yeah, exactly. Um, that on the cruise, yo. I'm definitely going to be bringing that on the cruise. I It comes in three sizes, basic, large, and standard. I believe I have the standard size, hmm. and it currently retails for $19.99 on Amazon. It is on sale. It's like a spring sale that's going on. So if you are traveling for spring break or this spring, I would highly suggest getting this. And what I really like about it is that when you unfold it, it's clear plastic on the inside, so you can see everything. You're not digging through, like, yeah. um, pockets that you can't see what you have in there. And it does get dirty because, you know, like, when you travel with your makeup, there's always, like, a little spoiler. Of this. It's just easy to wipe down. I've had mine for over a year. I have used it several times. I am a huge fan. It comes in, like, black and, like, a pink color, maybe, like, a cream color. I don't know. I just have the black one. Yeah, there's a ton of colors here. It's awesome. Black, pink, teal, purple, gray, navy. Nice. I think it's awesome. I agree. I have that. I love it. I have, if you're traveling with a carry-on, it's hard. It's like a little bit bigger, right? But if you're going on a long, like week-long trip or more and you need all those toiletries. Yeah. I've tried to like pare down sometimes and like traveling with a carry on, but then I always want all the stuff. I want to have everything with me yeah. I could ever possibly need, even though I'm not going to use all of it. I would be afraid to use this on a carry on because it does have it. It comes with like a plastic insert where you you know when you go through like TSA, you can just pull out your oh yeah plastic you know liquids liquids and whatever. My experience at Heathrow. <laughs> was like, don't carry on anything because Mm. it was so incredibly, like they were so strict on Mm. what you could bring through and how it was packaged and how many things you had and whatever. So I'm not a carry oner anyway, typically. So, I mean, to me, this is like perfect for throwing in your suitcase and then bring all the things that you want to bring. Yes. Agree. Cool. Cool. All right, that is a rapid fire episode of Approved. If you love this podcast, join our Patreon. But also, we are dying for your five star ratings and reviews in the podcast app of your choice. They're the best thing you can do for podcasts that you love, in addition to sharing them with your friends. We'll be back next week with a brand new episode and two brand new items. See you then. Bye. Bye. Bye.